So the first heat will be Wobbly Wheel Wonder against Zippy, then Light Storm against Red Arrow, and then Lightning against Syzygy. Light Storm on the outside lane. Laurie Calvert, who's a civil servant, against Red Arrow in Dalsit from Rysnip in Middlesex. And again, it's the outside lane which is favourite. Lightstorm off that little bit quicker and gain pace. And it was a little bit of a struggle for Red Arrow to tell the truth. So Lightning has the fastest time and in the final will compete against Lightstorm. Wobbly Wheel Wonder, like Syzygy, broke up at the finish and can't compete in the second race. Very exciting stuff. We now know who the finalists are. Let's go down to the track because Ed's there with them. Thank you, Jane. It is very exciting down there at the moment. Light Storm, you are just about 0.5 of a second behind Lightning. Is there anything you've done since the last time you raced? Just put a little bit of oil on the axle now. Really, we're hoping that we're going to hold together and he's going to suffer and have problems and break up. That's our main hope. Right, well, good luck to you. Let's move on to Lightning. Lightning, you are looking like the favourite at the moment. Is there anything you've done that's going to possibly make Lightning go even quicker, which seems almost impossible? I think it'll go slower this time. It was a violent landing the last time, and the wheels are sort of off a little bit, so I think it's going to be a good race now. OK, well, the best of luck to both of you, and someone's going to be a winner very, very soon. Back to you, Jane. Thanks, Ed. Now, while the Rocketeers stand back and light the blue touch paper, let's take a look at the tech specs on those rockets. Laurie Calvert's light storm on the near side as we look is slightly the heavier of the two. Brian Long with lightning on the outside. Last minute adjustments being made. Before we once again have liftoff. Lightning was the fastest in the heats and the favourite wins it. Lightning ahead of Lightstorm. And the youngsters really enjoyed the pace of the rockets. Success for Brian Long and young 10-year-old James Musgrove. A new world record, 1.328. Lightning, that's right. Now, because this is a new event, not only have you won yourself a gold medal, but you've also got yourself a world record as well. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. Go, well job. done. <laughs> Give yourselves a little <laughs> yeah. handshake there. Congratulations. We've got world champions and we've got gold medalists right down here. Back to you, Jane. Well, incredibly fast. A new world record for Techno Games. They broke their record. They've won the gold. What did you think of that? There's not really that much you can say about it apart from... <laughs> Martin, could you come up with something a little bit more technical, perhaps, than shum? <laughs> well, they've all got the same standard motor, so all they can do, really, is either reduce the friction or improve the aerodynamics or lower the weight or change the downforce a little bit. So there's uh, not much room for improvement on that, I would say. The only thing I would say is it'd be nice if we could sit in slow motion just because we could hardly say anything. Well, should we have a look in slow motion? That would be great. Be great. Let's have a look. Even in slow motion, it's fast. It is indeed, yeah. What was its time, Noel? 1.328 seconds. Seconds? Seconds, yeah. It was a little bit better than the leg robots, wasn't it? A <laughs> little bit better <laughs> than the leg robots. Wow, what a week.